Hi, and welcome to Fusion 360. I'm Ed Robledo from the Fusion 360 family here to tell you all about the new and improved features added to Fusion 360 Electronics. As you may already experience, Fusion 360 provides you all of the mechanical, manufacturing, cam, simulation, and electronic design tools, and much more into a single unified application. Let's get started. Fusion 360 is recognized as the only application that provides the best electromechanical workflow experience compared to all available applications. The mechanical engineer no longer needs to find a common ground to share information with the electronic engineer, since both are now on the exact same platform. Providing the correct outline of the circuit board based on the enclosure usually entails some sort of a file conversion that is continuously being repeated for every update. Well, in Fusion 360, capturing the outline geometry as easy as projecting the enclosure surface and informing the electrical engineer to adopt it. Yeah, it is that easy and we've made some improvements. We have renamed the option when it's time to select your profile. You will now notice that from the create pull down menu, we have the options to create an associated PCB or create an independent PCB. We like recommending using the create associated PCB option because changes to the sketch profile will be reflected on your PCB workspace, while the independent option will only affect the PCB that first time. In addition to selecting the intended profile shape for the PCB, you're going to now have the option to select the PCB outline origin and its X axis. You see, in our earlier version, this was arbitrarily selected for you as the point closest to the origin of the page. But now with this new implementation, the origin and the X axis of the circuit board are going to perfectly match the mechanical workspace sketch profile. Therefore, from now on, the mechanical engineer can be certain that the PCB designer is laying out the board in the correct orientation. This is extremely important for designs that have connectors or LED status indicators that need to be correctly aligned and exposed in different areas of the enclosure. With this new feature, you're going to be able to avoid any orientation errors on the design that could cause very time consuming prototype respins. As you could see so far, Fusion 360 provides you the most desirable electromechanical workflow ever available, and it continues to get better with every update. In this release, our team of developers has made it easier for you to make changes to the PCB profile by selecting the edit board option available in the edit in place environment. Making it so much easier for the mechanical designer to make changes to the PCB outline, such as selecting additional geometry or maybe using a different sketch profile for designs that require a different outline. I'm pretty sure you have noticed by now that Fusion 360 has the advantage of reviewing the 3D model of your circuit board. In this new update, we've made the available options easier for you to access. You see, the canvas option will represent the copper traces in simple artwork for faster previewing. If no option is selected, it, then it will default to the regular 3D preview. Now, the stop layer geometry option was going to include the solder mask details. I really like this view because I'm able to see if I have any solder bridges. Because of the amount of details with this option, it might take a bit longer to complete the 3D model. Since Fusion 360 is 100% compatible with Autodesk Eagle, it is possible you might be reworking some legacy designs or you might be completing a design that was created by someone else. In either case, there's a good chance you may not have all the library or libraries that have been used. From the library tab, you will now notice the option to export all or some of the components into your library. Now, 
You could use these parts on other designs or update them and use them in your current design. This time-saving feature will help you avoid finding component spec sheets and recreate them when they're already available on your design. I really like using this feature to add 3D models to libraries that I have created using Eagle. Using the Fusion 360 Package Editor Calculator makes this task very easy. I'm going to complete our update by letting you know of another interface update in the schematic editor. See, while working on the schematic, you will always be looking for time saving options that will optimize your design time. One consuming task in the schematic is making connections. From the context menu, we have always had the option to break out components or buses. In this update, you're going to now notice we've added the option to the schematic toolbar under the connect section. These time saving options will make it easier for you to break out large components in a matter of moments, a task that originally takes way too long. Connecting a bus configuration will be simplified by generating all the nets from the bus that might have been defined in other sheets. This rounds up most of the new and improved features that have been added on this latest update. To learn of more of this update, please join our Fusion 360 Electronics Forum. Here, you can post comments, recommendations, or join some of our existing discussion threads. Thank you for joining me. All this and more with Fusion 360.